Hello, my name is Skix. Skix Maddox, if I'm not quite cool enough to have a single name like Cher or Madonna. I MC, I host, I also do improv, I teach improv, uh, and various other sorts of performance, including dressing like a monster and being scary for Halloween. Now what I'm going to do for you today is a three minute monologue improvised of randomly selected words using uh, the Wikipedia randomizer, skipping proper names. So the words I have to cover are Town Hall, Opera, Fusion, and Lion, four of them. Now I'm going to put my glasses on, because I thought I had improv. All right, I'm way back here and hopefully the microphone picks up my excellent projection skills. So, timer's running, I've lost about 30 seconds, about a minute, okay. So when it goes off, I'll have another minute after. Town Hall, Opera, Fusion, Lion, go. The first town hall I ever attended was in New England, where they still have town halls. And major decisions about a town are made there. They uh, cover mostly road salting in the winter, in my experience. That's, that's really mostly what it's about, road salting. Uh, we actually ran out of salt recently in Maine, where I grew up, which is a strange thing to run out of in modern times. You can imagine the hunters going out and finding the salt licks where the deer congregate and stealing them, grinding them up to make some extra cash. Uh, in that place, there's also a firewood theft, a very big problem, uh, and there are people particularly given the job of monitoring firewood theft, like a, a branch of the police force. But the best part of my hometown where I grew up, which is South Paris, Maine, is next door in Norway, Maine, in the very creatively named towns of our area. Um, is an opera house, or what used to be an opera house. In, I think, the 60s, when my mother was a teeny bopper, it was an opera house. They had, well, operas, right? As you would expect. From the front, it's got a clock tower, a brick facade. It looks like it was once very fancy. When I was a kid, all of the downstairs was replaced by a giant Woolworths, which is a department store which is like Amazon. And there's my one minute mark, but I've got another minute. I hope it shuts off because I don't want to walk over there and, and press the button. Don't, don't do it, don't do it. Okay. Uh, sorry. Shut up. All right. The timer on the camera is actually easier to spot than I thought it would be. Okay, so three minutes, but it took me about a minute to introduce. So I gotta go quick. Uh, a Woolworths. And the main uh, theater space was a movie theater. Back when you could run a theater in one screen. Um, as happens with all decrepit theaters, it did eventually start to show pornography, which was a long ride from opera. But uh, also in the 70s, something wondrous happened to small red heating theaters, and that was called the Rocky Horror Picture Show, a midnight showing where people dressed up in lingerie, went to the show, shouted back at the screen, and celebrated being trampy. And in fact, you could say this is a fusion of opera and porn. It really, really is. And it was liberating as hell. Um, Oh, that last one. Uh, and I used to go, and uh, I found it really uh, life-affirming to go to this place and be free from the boundaries of trying to be straight, of trying to be male, of trying to be normal, trying to be small-town American. Uh, I could wear heels, I could wear torn-up fishnets, cause I'm always torn up because 70s fishnets were very delicate. Um, but it was kind of punk, too. And the real essence of the Rocky Horror Picture Show got into my blood, got into my DNA, to the point where I feel a little surge of philosophical pre-orgasm whenever I hear 
the MGM Lions first rule. I am. There it is. Town Hall Opera Fusion Lion. Most of that was true, although I combined two different theaters for the purpose of the story. Thank you. My name is Skix, and I hope you will consider me for your next event or program. <laughs>